And I'm here with my son here who is sick today. Um, my wife knew how bad I felt about that, so she bought me two games. And one of the things he likes to do most, and this is not something I really trained him to do, but I, I guess I, um, I'll stop talking. Anyway, he really likes to open games. Our cat's at the window. Mushmail, right? Is that Mushmail? Oh. Yeah. So this one is Break a Leg, a cooperative theater game. And first I want you to look at the box here. There's all these people on it that are movie stars, but they're not real movie stars, I think. I think they're made up. Smiley Smiths, Noah Needles, Donna Dale. Yeah, whenever you see a lot of alliteration like that in something, you know that it's all made up. So we got to open up. We're a group of investors in a small city theater is what it says. We also assume many different jobs, such as... Promotions, auditions, advertising, accountant, and stage manager. Everyone then works together to put on a season of three plays, a drama, a comedy, and a musical. Ooh, we try to balance artistic concerns with the need to keep the cash box as full as possible. In other words, have a profitable season and avoid losing our shirts. Profits and losses are split equally. It is a Jim Dayco family pastimes game. Uh, bottom line is to put on plays that people enjoy and make some money doing so. I think they already said that. All right, component files. Let's op Let's unbox. You ready? Ready. You ready to unbox? Okay, so let's open it up. What do we have here? What's this? It's a bag with some play money and some dice and one little marker. Little, um, one of those little plastic kind of poker, faux poker chip things. Well, I guess they are poker chips. Okay. Yeah, it's a game. Uh -huh. Look at this, it's got a bunch of people on it. Yeah, you know these cards, I guess these are probably actor cards, maybe you can hire these people. Marty Morse, Ruthie Robson. What's this? What's that? Oh, there's some more people. There's a rule book. So this is one of the more deluxe Deco games. Don't, don't. This is one of the more deluxe Deco games. Um, it has a lot more things comes with this, um, some sort of bookkeeping sheet. Set, go, sausage, um, critics reviews. I'm liking this. I think a cash box, a little piggy on there, piggy bank on there. There's a box office, curtain call theater is the name of our theater that we all own together. You, the viewer included. Then we have, um, Looks like little, I don't know what these are. It's like little um, bills, like, or what do you call them? Brochures? Not brochures. When you go to a theater and the usher hands you something that you can color on while you're waiting for the, the play to start, and it says the actors and maybe a bit about the play or whatever. This is that. Um, what do we have down here? We have. Oh, place posters for the curtain call theater. Okay, so posters. I guess these are posters. So you place these here. I like it when they incorporate the box into the game. It feels like it's more um, efficient. Oh, but this actually can come out. But there's no reason for it to. Yeah, it comes out, but it doesn't have to. It can stay in there, and you can just keep it in the box. And that seems really efficient to me. Um, an earnings indicator. This has a lot of different pieces. Usually, well, the Deco games I've played before, which I guess is not a lot. I'm not a, a family pastimes expert by any means. They don't have this many, many pieces. This could be pretty involved. I guess it's a 12 and up game too. So, um, there you go. We've unboxed. Can you, can you put that back? Um, can you put that back in there? Uh, Very good. It's taking it. Um, I have to establish that this is my game and not one of his games. Otherwise, it will end up in his box. Oh, can I have this? Thanks. Um, we'll look at a different game after this. Um, so this is Family Pastimes, Break a Leg, and I think the designer is probably Jim Dayco. I'm not sure. I think they maybe have a few games that he didn't design. But um, I, I'm always interested in his work. I think he takes a different tack than a lot of the designers out there, and that's always interesting to see. Hope you enjoyed our unboxing. Uh, oh, did you enjoy it? Eh? Yeah? All right. Is it, can you wave? Wave? Yeah. Bye. Bye. He's a good puppet, isn't he?